What's up guys, Joe here from Subtle Art Soap. Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to jump on real quick and uh, talk about a couple things that we have going on, give you guys a couple of updates. The first one being Witchcraft, the shave soap and aftershave giveaway. The giveaway ends, it closes tomorrow, Sunday, the 22nd at 6 p.m. And I'll be drawing a winner shortly after that. So we've still got plenty of time to jump on that. If you know anybody that might be interested, just tag them in your comment and, uh, you know, give them a chance to win this one too. I did make a couple of changes to witchcraft this year. Um, obviously the first one being the label. How cool is that label? Uh, the next change was the color in previous years. I've used activated charcoal to give it kind of an eerie gray color this year. I did some French green clay to give you this light green color. So it's kind of more of like something brewing in a witch's cauldron kind of vibe. I did change the scent a little bit on this one. It is I backed off on the patchouli and bumped up the cinnamon leaf. So you get a little bit more of that, that um, spicy, sweet cinnamon vibe. By no means is it a gourmand cinnamon scent. It is not a strong cinnamon scent. Just bumped up a little bit. We're not um, doing a separate fall shave soap and aftershave like we have in the past. We've done Autumn Woods in the past. We've done Country Apple in the past. This is our only fall offering. So the scent's been changed just a little bit to give you more of that fall vibe. There is also a bath soap. Same exact scent. And the bath soap is going to be part of the giveaway too. So you'll get shave soap, aftershave, bath soap. So you get all three in the giveaway. So you're definitely going to want to get in on that one. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about real quick is you saw me cut this the other day. This is our Dead Sea Clay and Charcoal Face Soap. This is the first soap that we've made that we're designating as a face soap. Um, it's got dead sea clay, that's the brown, and activated charcoal in it. Now you see dead sea clay a lot in natural cosmetic products for your face, mud masks and things like that. It is loaded with vitamins and minerals that is that are really good for your skin. The uh, activated charcoal acts like it has, uh, it's known for its um, detoxifying property. So it helps to draw impurities out of the skin. Now we get a lot of people, I've talked about this before, a lot of people have reached out to us and asked, do we have anything for your face? Do you have any, do we, you know, do we have any soaps specifically for your face? We always get that question weekly at the uh, farmer's market. So, and I always steer them towards the uh, tea tree and charcoal because that's something you see commonly as a soap for your face. Um, but we wanted to do something specific and something a little bit different. And I know I've been wanting to work with Dead Sea Clay for a while, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to use Dead Sea Clay in a soap and have it be specifically for your face. Um, scented with lemongrass essential oil, very light scent of lemongrass. Um, lemongrass essential oil is one of those oils that has a very low IFRA usage rate. So a little goes a long way. I think the IFRA on it is 1%. And I use less than 1%. And you still have a really nice um, lemongrass scent. So I'm very excited about that one. That's also the first soap that we've made that has um, mango butter instead of cocoa butter. And one of the things I was concerned with was mango butter is naturally softer than cocoa butter. So I was a little bit concerned that maybe the texture of the soap or the soap bar itself would be softer, but it is absolutely not. Um, it is behaving the same as our current formula with the cocoa butter. So that's very exciting. That's one of the big things I was uh, worried about. Um, everything is going fine. We've been testing it out as we go, the pH testing and a couple different lather tests here and there. Um, this is my test bar and uh, I will be running it through a couple more things before the release date. Now this will be done curing on the third and it should be, I'll have it on the website. If everything goes well, I'll have it on the web, on the website by then. Um, and that 
should do it. Oh, I got a shipment of bottles in for aftershaves. So I'll be working on aftershaves this weekend. Um, a lot of them have been out of stock uh, the past few weeks. Just, you know, been rationing the bottles, waiting for that order. You know, the bottles are supposed to arrive at one time and then you get a notification that they've been delayed and, you know, whatever. It's, it happens all the time. Um, I should probably order sooner um, than I probably should order. My next order I should put in now uh, to make sure I get it on time for when they run out. Uh, but that's all I got going on. Just wanted to come on and uh, give you guys uh, those couple of updates. And uh, if I have some cutting videos I'm going to probably make this weekend, maybe tomorrow, I'm working on a couple of soaps right now. I'm actually taking a break because I'm uh, letting the lye water cool down so I can, so I can uh, get everything going. So hopefully I'll have those tomorrow to cut and uh, I'll do a couple of cutting videos. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.